you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Mud Heroes finally, guys. Our first big promo. Sorry I don't typically get this video out to you the night before when they do the special stream, but because of a school schedule that I made not anticipating the special streams on Thursday nights, I am not able to be around for that video. It's actually exactly at that time that I have to go and leave to class, so kind of screwed me. But guys, I'm still going to go over it, even though it's a little late for you guys. I will be releasing this around 10.30, so you guys can watch it when Mud Heroes first drops. Everything that I'm going to show you from the screenshots and everything is the exact same thing that's going to be in the game. So it doesn't make much of a difference whether or not I show you guys in the game or over on Twitter and everything I got to show you guys. So pretty much, so to give you guys a little checklist of things that we could be expecting, guys. I shouldn't say expecting. To give you guys a checklist of what we get, we're going to get new solo challenges, new players, new sets, new reroll sets, sidekicks, uh, like baby sidekicks, like a lot of things that we, we probably pretty much told you in our prediction videos and everything. By the way, a lot of our predictions came true. If you guys watched that video, a lot of them did. Guys, we did get Saquon Barkley, which I'm really hype about. From what I'm seeing, Saquon Barkley might be able to get like armbar slash bruiser. He also might be able to get jukebox. Like this card's looking pretty insane. I'm gonna go over everything. I got all the screenshots. We also have a new solo sequence. Now this new solo sequence, we are guaranteed one free mud hero, which is pretty awesome. Cause I always feel like, like I said, what makes a promo good? It's when we get good cards, daily content, good solo sequences, some house rules, and specifically they should always give us one free player from the promo, Nat. That's kind of something they've incorporated in the last year or so that has been a big part of like no money spent teams and even people like me. Now guys, if you didn't already know, I'll go over this in a little bit, but the training value to you do a uh, get a one mud hero is about 6,000 training to get one mud hero to get one off the uh, store. So for the, with that math, if you think about it, if 88s go for like 100K, 90K, and then that's 2,500 training, 2,640, it'll pretty much cost you, if you times that by two, it'll probably cost like, each mud hero is probably around 250, 300K because their training value that is what it costs to pretty much buy one so they're not going to be well above 300k maybe like ramsey and a few of the great ones might be but you could just use this to do the set if you really want to but again we'll all we'll get all we'll get into all that during the video guys so before we get into the screenshots if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button boys we are at 9.2k thank you guys for all the support as of late and by the way we will be doing another giveaway today so we're gonna be doing a coin giveaway so all you gotta do to enter this giveaway is going to be an 100k giveaway just like the other day so pretty much if any video today hits the like threshold we will be giving away coins so it's a 100k giveaway all you gotta do today's like threshold you guys smashed the 600 once we're gonna do 750 likes if any video today hits 750 likes i will be giving away 100k to a random commenter so all you gotta do is go down below like the video let's get this video to 750 likes and then comment down below 100k all you gotta do is comment and i'll randomly select from the commenters so this video and the ones you see today will all be under this so that's all you guys gotta do make sure to turn that noti bell and subscribe like i said that's separate from the giveaway don't worry about that but guys, let's get into all these screenshots. Guys, okay, so this is the Mutt Heroes logo. Nothing too special here. Just an H with a little, little wing looking thing right there. Again, nothing too special there. Now let's go over to the first set of cards. So we got Mitch Morse, 90 overall center on the Buffalo Bills. His stats are looking okay. Honestly, a lot of these cards are underwhelming, but it's okay because some cards look very, very good. So I'm not too concerned about that. We got John Brown as the sidekick. So the way this is working is this is the hero. This is the sidekick. The overalls do go up, obviously. They're not all 90s. Now the center alone looks okay. Nothing too special there. I think I'd still rather Kevin Mawai. Next, we got Chris Harris Jr. and Derek Wolf as the sidekick. So Chris Harris Jr. is 91. He's got really high man coverage, really high play rec. Honestly, though, what sucks about his man coverage is that his press isn't too great and his speed's a little bit low. In my opinion, if you're getting cornerbacks now with Champ Bailey out, the new Ramsey, your speed should at least get to 90 powered up and does not appear like he will have that. So I'm kind of out on the Chris Harris, to be completely honest with you. Derek Wolf does not look horrible. 87 play rec, 87 tackle. Next, let's see what we got. Oh, too much. We got David Johnson. Okay, so he was one of my predictions, by the way. So, so far, that is one of them that I guessed right. 88 speed, 88 excel, 86 agility. Really good running back, 86 carrying. I wish his catching was better. David Johnson's one of the best pass catching backs in the league. So, I feel like they always underrate the catching running backs. I don't know if it'd make them too overpowered if they gave it to us. 86 break tackle, 85 charm. So, this is the, one of the most well rounded backs in the game. He can do a little bit of everything. He's not the fastest, he's not the strongest, he's not the best catcher, he's not the best anything, but he can do it all. But for me, that's going to gonna be a pass on David Johnson. He's not bad, though. Larry Fitzgerald, as usual, pretty good catching stats, really low speed. I think his catching stats would have had to have been a little bit better to justify him with his low speed. 
Next, we got Melvin Ingram. This card's okay. He's got 94 playoff finesse move, and you can get that to a 90 play rec, so that's really good right there. The block shot is a little too low for my liking, though. And then we got Thomas Davis Sr., 79 speed. Okay stats. Again, no, no, you're not really worried about the sidekicks in this scenario. Now, let's scroll on up to the next set, which should be right here. So we got Jason Witten for the Cowboys, 74 speed. Honestly, most people were probably expecting Zeke or like Byron Jones, something along those lines. Or Jalen Smith, but we get we did get Jason Witten. Now his speed's a little way too low. The only way I could justify that speed is if he had like an 88 run block, which he does not. So for that reason, I'm kind of out on him. He's like a standstill catch specialist, but I guess everyone can do that. And Leo Collins, he's alright. Nothing too special there either. Xavier Howard, he's a cornerback that I'm pretty excited for. I don't know if I'll pick him up. It all depends on if we get like a Deion Sanders today from Mutt Town, which I kind of feel like we will. He's got 90 speed, 90 excel. 86 agility 88 jumping so he's like he's like a spark piece like a combine athlete 88 play rec 89 zone that's what matters there so if you power this card up and you can it up properly he will have threshold play rec threshold zone and depending on your your abilities your schemes your your john madden coach you could get also press 90 if you can get his press 290 his zone 290 and his play rec 290 he'd be a pretty insane card i just wish the man was a little bit better and then david Godchuk. i don't know if you said that's how you say it. his stats are really underwhelming i don't really have to talk about him then we got matthew stafford as usual the only stat that matters on a stafford card is throw power 93 it should have been higher in my opinion if it's not a 96 at least then all these stats are kind of bad i'd much rather go with a more well-rounded quarterback than a guy with 93 throw power such as Patrick Mahomes, superstar. And then we got Carryon Johnson, 84 speed, way too low for a running back. Although he could be a pretty good budget back. Next on the list, we got David Bakhtiari. I kind of, I'm kind of upset about this card. I thought he'd be a little bit better, but as you guys can see here, his run blocking is horrific and his pass blocking is good, but like that's like a lot of left tackles right now. What would have made him stand out is if his left, if his pass blocking was really good and his run blocking was at least decent. And then Mar Marquez Valdez Scantling does have a 90 speed with good catching. So this card's going to be a budget beast because if you think about it, most guys with 90 plus speed at a, at a low cost typically have really bad catching stats like Hollywood Brown and John Ross. He indeed does not. So let's go back up. For some reason, we can't slide over there. Next, we got Greg Olson. Oh, and by the way, guys, quick reminder. They're only releasing 16 total cards today, and they'll be releasing the rest on Monday and then the rest on the... So it's going to be the 7th today, the 7th, the 9th, and I believe like the 10th. So they're releasing them in segments. The first 16 go out today and the other 16 go out segmented. But you guys will see all that as we go. So, so far, the ones I'm showing you are the ones that should be out day one. We got Greg Olson. Greg Olson's honestly really good. If his run block was a little bit better, that'd be good. But he's more of a receiving tight end. Really good stats. Really good route running. And he has pretty decent speed. I would not underestimate Greg Olson. And then Trey Turner, nothing special there. We got LaMarcus Joyner on the, on the um, Raiders. He's got threshold zone. Good hit power. Good speed. Good excel. Good man. Good play rec. Honestly, a really great free safety. His height kind of hurts him a little bit in his hit power, but honestly, Lamar Schoen is not bad. Then we got Tahir Whitehead, a pretty decent run. Uh, no, I don't want to say runs. He's not really. He's kind of like a zone linebacker, but in the same time, I don't really see him as a guy that I'd be using. Next, we got Brandon Cooks, 91 speed. So this card, if you power it up, could probably get him to a 92 speed. He's really good, but again, I see him as like a worse Tory Holt. So I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't pick him up for my squad because I've, I already have Tory Holt in that. You know this. So like the shorter guy, good speed, good route running, good catching, but I think Torrey Holt does it better. And then we got Jared Goff, nothing special there. Decent stats around the board. Next, we got Matthew Judon for the Ravens. He's got 79 speed, 85 excel, let's see, 87 tackle, 88 power move. So he's a, he's a decent pass rusher, but not a great run stuffer with low speed. I'm kind of out on him. Then we got Marlon Humphrey, decent cornerback at best. Athletic, but not too much cover stats. Let's see where we're going next. So here we got De'Aaron Payne. And Josh Norman. It's so funny how Norman used to be like a hero and now he's just a sidekick. So let's see, we got 73 speed, 85 tackle, 87 play rec, 92 strength. And by the way, if you guys already know, heroes typically have one really good stat, as you guys can see, that is probably strength for De'Aaron Payne. I'm, I'm out on De'Aaron Payne, not really liking his stats too much there. And then Norman, 83 over 83 speed cornerback. I'll have to be out on that one too. Next, we got Bobby Wagner, fan favorite Wagner. He's got really good hit power, really good tackling, really good play rec, decent zone. But I think that's bad speed. In my opinion, I'd be out on Wagner right now too, just for the fact that guys like Devin White and Shazier greatly will play better than him, especially with the speed factor. And then we got Shaquille Griffin. So he's got 90 speed, 80 zone, 81 play rec, 87 jumping, 89 excel, 6 feet tall. If he is going for the right price, he will be a budget beast cornerback. Next, we got David DeCastro. I cannot show you his stats because for some reason the screenshots from EA show on uh, Alejandro Villanueva stats twice. And then Villanueva as a whole, underwhelming again. Next, we got Adam Thielen. The issue with Adam Thielen cards are always going to be his speed. For that reason, I'm out. Like, I can just feel right now with DeAndre Hopkins and guys with that kind of speed, like, 
may just feel underwhelming going over the middle like people can keep up with him too easily it makes it really hard to create separation and then brian o'neill not too great stats at right tackle let's go on to the next set so now here are the cards that are coming soon 10 9 these will be releasing i believe what is that monday so these cards right here is that monday today's the fourth tomorrow's the fifth and the sixth the seventh no these are releasing wednesday i believe although i know some should be releasing monday now we got Saquon Barkley coming out Wednesday. It kind of sucks we have to wait for him, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. But this is the card that I'm really hyped for. Saquon Barkley, 89 speed, 90 excel. So I plan to power this card up. So I see that as 90 speed, 91 excel, 93 agility, which is huge, 92 carry, 74 catching. That's really good catching right now for a running back. 86 elusiveness, 80 trucking, 93 break tackle. So for me, what matters here on any card is speed, break tackle, carry, agility. Like those are the cards that those are the stats up for in excel, obviously. And he's got all of them well above 90. Once you power him up, all these stats will be above 90. So depending on what abilities you can get, Saquon Barkley will be in line for the best running back in the game. And then we got Kyle Fuller, 89 speed, 93 zone. Those are the stats you really care about. So he's going to have above 90 speed powered up with really high zone. Although right now it's kind of like a man's game. So I feel like man coverage is more important. I'm not too big on Kyle Fuller personally. I feel like there's better options. Then we got Joel Batonio, really good pass blocking, but too low of run blocking for me. I personally like my guys in the middle of the trenches, such as left guard, center, and right guard to be very good when it comes to blocking. So I'm kind of out on him too. And then let's go on to the next list. Then these are coming, I believe 10, 10, so the day after. These are JJ Watt. He's got 91 tackle, 92 strength, 92 uh, play rec. That's really good and all, but his power and finesse are below 90s, and so is his block shed. So I feel like that's a little too low for a walk card. Not really feeling this card either. Let's see what else we got here. We got Tyler Boyd, pretty good wide receiver in the NFL. I wouldn't use him again. He's like a feeling card, low speed, low jumping, kind of not that athletic, but he has decent catching stats. Again, not too in on him. Malik Hooker, I honestly kind of like. He's got 87 speed, 89 excel, 91 play rec, 88 zone. Powered up and chemmed up properly, he will have the zone threshold, play rec threshold. He'll have like an 88 speed and then a mid tier hit power. So this card's honestly really good. I do really like that Malik Hooker. Now this is the next line of cards right here. We got Fletcher Cox, 91 overall. He's got 74 speed, 81 excel, 90 strength, 87 tackle. What matters here is his power move. So he's got 91 power move. He's got 87 play rec. I actually really do like this Fletcher Cox card. I wish his block shedding was better though. That might be the difference between whether or not I get him because block shedding at an 80 for a defensive tackle. It's kind of they kind of need their block shed to stuff the run. Next we got Deion Jones. Everyone's gonna love this card. 86 speed though, which I don't feel is the greatest because I already have Shazier and White. If you guys don't already have a linebacker like that, he falls right in line. High zone, high tackle, high excel. Not a bad card, just not for me. Dante Hightower. The card doesn't look horrible, but again, he can't he can't really pass rush too well. He can kind he can't really run stuff too well. And he's kind of slow. He's kind of like he can do everything, but not too well. The next, this is kind of some screenshots of what we got coming. So we got the Mud Hero Solos here. As you can see, earning Nat Mud Hero. I believe it's 140 stars for one Nat Mud Hero, which is honestly quite awesome. I'm really happy. So for me personally, I'll give you guys my rankings in another video, but I'll give you guys a quick little insight on what I plan to do. So here is, we're coming over here. So these are the screenshots of the Fantasy Pack. Obviously, there's a Jalen Ramsey. He should be up here somewhere. I'll get to that. There's Jalen Ramsey, which is one of the guys that I'm really excited for. So as you guys see, this is the Nat Mod Hero Pack, so obviously it's in the game, and I believe it's 140 stars, so that shouldn't take you more than like a few hours to get done. Here's the Fantasy Pack right there. So I know a lot of you guys are probably excited just about the fact we're getting a free card. Here are some of the sets, offense, defense, and exchange sets. We got, uh, let's see, Brandon Cooks, and then we got his two Nat sidekicks. That's part of the set, so if you complete any sets for any of these heroes, you do get two of their sidekicks free Nat back to you, as you guys can see from the set. It will cost you a bunch of wild card, low overall sidekicks. Now let's keep going up. We got a random 1991 hero. This is what I was talking about. So it will cost 6,100 training. So pretty much, if you convert that to money, I'm imagining it's going, that costs about 250K per se, 250K. If you get the right training value, you get the 88 to like 90K each, about 250K for a nat, I mean a random 1991 hero, which should keep the cost down of the heroes. Although some guys like Ramsey and Barkley might go for a little bit more. Now there's gonna be a bundle obviously, a $100 bundle. I don't think I'll be opening it because personally, the way Mud Heroes works, a bundle just pretty much almost guarantees you one full card. So for me, I'd rather not do bundles like that. So we have some more cards, obviously. At the Forrest Buckner, he has got 86 tackling, 91 finesse move, 87 play rec. Really, pr a pretty good pass rusher, decent run stuffing. At a defensive tackle with a 70 speed, honestly, not a bad card. I'd probably consider him. Mike Evans, I'm not even gonna talk about. 85 speed, like, it's kind of ridiculous. Although he's tall and all, he's way too slow for this point in the game. 
We got Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams is a beast. The only issue is that we have Pat Tillman. He's got 87 speed, 87 zone, 80, 94 hit power. Chemmed up and powered up. who have the zone threshold, almost the man threshold, the pursuit threshold, the play rec threshold, a like 95 hit power, and an 88 speed. That card is absolutely insane. If I didn't have Pat Tillman, I'd have to get it. Now, Delaney Walker, I might honestly pick up just as a run blocker because I like to run. I'm obviously going to be running the ball with Saquon a lot. So that's about the only thing with him is that he's 82 speed and good run blocking. He always has very similar stats. And now this is one of the bangers. I think he's only, he's, him and Saquon are like 1A, 1B for the best cards in this promo. He's got 88 speed, 88 excel. So finally, Jalen Ramsey has athleticism. That's always the issue in the beginning of the year. They never give Ramsey athleticism. He's got 89 jumping, 88 speed, 88 excel. 92 man, 90 zone, 92 press, 87 play rec. If you power this guy up and you chem him up, he will have threshold man, threshold zone, threshold play rec, threshold press. 89 speed, 89 excel, 90 jumping, 86 agility. This card is a monster. Don't even second guess it. You need to have this card. And these are releasing, I believe, 10, 11. So that's about, what is that, 13 days from now? No, that's really bad math. I'm sorry. That's about seven days from now. And then we got Drew Brees. Not a card that I'm really in on. Pretty decent passing stats, but really low throw power. Bad throw on the run, which is not I don't really care about. And decent throw under pressure. I just, with the quarterbacks we have out right now, I'm not really a fan. Mitchell Schwartz is really good. Really amazing pass block, especially at right tackle. But the run blocking kind of kills him, in my opinion. I like to have my right tackles that can block too. And I think that is about it for all the screenshots, guys. Let's head on over to the Madden screen. So guys, this video was pretty long. There was a lot to go over. You saw all the players. You saw all the segmented drops. We're going to be getting a free one, which is pretty cool. And if I could suspect that maybe they'll give us a potential house rules this week that gives us a free Mud Hero or maybe some free sidekicks to get a Mud Hero, that'd be really cool. I really would like that. So for me, guys, I personally want to get Barkley and Ramsey, but I'll be I'll be ranking all of them in a separate video going over who I believe you guys should want to have on your team and who you should pick out of that fantasy pack. But that'll be in a separate video, obviously. All right, guys, that's it for the video. This one pretty long. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to give a... Big thumbs up for the video, guys. Remember, if any video today hits 750k likes, I will be giving away 100k. So all you got to just comment it down below. Say 100k down in the comments. Like the video. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, guys. I'm out. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.